Hello, this is Logan Bedford. Uh, I've been asked to do some tutorials on how to import our PZ maps into MotionX GPS. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. I'll show you uh, both of them, or the two that I use. Um, so what we've got here is a PZ map that we've created with Google Maps. You can create it with Google Earth, any any kind of software. Basically, the end result we want is a KML file of our PZ map. So if you don't know how to do that, go back and watch our uh, tutorial on how to create PZ maps. And uh, so right now I'm assuming that you've already got a KML file that uh, uh, contains your PZ map of your area. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, once we do that, we're going to go to gpsvisualizer.com. It's www.gpsvisualizer.com. You see a screen just like this. Uh, we're going to go click Browse. We're going to find our KML file. Uh, so we've got franklinpzareas.kml. Click open. You'll see it pop up here as a KML file. It says choose an output format. We're going to go to GPX file. Um, that's the format that MotionX uses. Uh, it works really well with creating tracks and uh, and overlaying our red zones onto MotionX GPS. Click go after you're done with that. So it'll bring you to another screen. It has a lot of information on it here. It looks confusing, but really all we need to pay attention to is this click to download some numbers dash data dot gpx. That's the file that you want. So when you click on that, you can save the file. Uh, I'm going to rename this. You want to keep the dot gpx there, but I'm going to rename it um, PZ Map Motion X. So we will save that. And save to our desktop. Now what you want to do with that, you can do this two different ways, but the way that I like best I'll show first. Uh, we'll go to our email. Uh, we want to compose a new email. I like this because you can keep it in your email. You can use it, upload it whenever you want to. Uh, we want to send an email to gpsimport at motionx.com. Again, that's gpsimport at motionx.com. Go down to the subject. I'll usually put some information in there. Um, you don't really need any text. So go down to attach a file. Uh, we want to go to our desktop here and we want to find this uh, pzmapmotionx.gpx. Uh, go ahead and click open. It's going to attach that file here. And then we will send that to GPS import at motionx.com. So now when you go to your inbox, uh, you can wait just a second and it will send that actually off to uh, Motion uh, X and then they will reply back to you. Right here it says no reply, um, MotionX.com. So when you get this email, what you want to do is open this email on your device. So if you've got an iPad, you want to go to your iPad, go to your email, and what you will do if you have GPS, you'll click here. If you have Motion X HD, then you'll click here. So on your iPad, you will actually click these uh, highlighted pieces right here. These bold pieces will be a link, and you can click on those. When you click on those, it will automatically import all of the tracks into Motion X GPS. When it originally imports them, they're all going to be just a tan looking track. It basically imports them as tracks. Uh, once you do that, um, it is pretty easy to go onto your iPad. This I'll show you really quick. You can go through iTunes, kind of like we did on the Ultra Magic Flight Pack. You can click on your iPad, click Apps, scroll down here to uh, GPS HD and then you'll see all of these uh, files over here. You can just come down here, click add, and then we will add that uh, GPX file that we had created. Uh, that also will import those into your iPad. But uh, like I said, I prefer to do it through the email. That way you always have it in your email. If you need a backup or something gets deleted, you can always just click on that link and import all your tracks again. Um, once you import the files into the iPad by opening your email click on Motion X GPS app uh, once you're inside the app you can click on the menu button uh, then you'll select tracks uh, from here click on all tracks 
and then you'll be able to see the tracks that you imported the PZs uh, these PZs come in as tracks so uh, on Motion X GPS it'll look like a start and finish track but on your map it'll look uh, just like a normal outline you can click on one of them this shows it here uh, it's gonna come in as a brown uh, line but you can click on line color and select the color that you want them to be uh, unfortunately you have to go and do this for each one of your PZs um, and then also the airspace I've changed to be a yellow uh, outline with the or sorry a blue outline with the line color um, but you can mess around with those but all your tracks should be imported in there when you go to your map it will show up on your map uh, just as outlines You gotta make sure your layers are on. You wanna show all your tracks. And you can come in here and you can see the outlines of all the PZs as you're flying. You can also see the airspace if you have those imported. All these other markers that you see on here are just places that uh, we use for takeoff and landing. You can mark those with uh, marks on your own. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, email me at hotairadventures at gmail.com. Thanks.